first one being is is why people fail the carnivore diet. Um, then we're gonna get into uh, gonna get into actually in more the the e- eating carnivore or going vegan. That way, uh, you know, hopefully it opens up some people's eyes. But the I've been getting a lot of comments um, saying, "Hey, I, I I tried the carnivore diet for you know a week, week and a half." three days not and it doesn't it doesn't work oh okay okay you know or i've gotten uh here's one comment that i didn't i didn't even respond to because it kind of kind of ticked me off to be honest with you and it, it didn't it didn't tick me off it just it made me sad um guy 28 years old he goes hey ryan i'm 28 years old i'm 315 pounds i'm 5 8 i don't think i can do the carnivore diet what do you recommend Sat back there for a second when I saw it and I went, you don't think you can do it? You don't think you can do it. You're not even going to give it a shot. You're not even going to give it a try. You don't think that you can do it. You're, you're, you're 5'8", 315 pounds, obviously pretty unhealthy. And you're going to go in with that mindset of, I don't think that I can do it. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Let, 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 let's be, let's be real. Let, let's be, <laughs> You don't think that you can do it. If you go in with that mindset, you're going to fail automatically. I almost I almost wanted to type back, why don't you just go eat whatever you want? Because that's probably what you're going to do anyways. And it, it's it's sad. It's sad that, you know, the the mindset of people can't can't switch to, hey, you know what? Uh, I, I can do this. You know, I, as much as I hate to admit this, um, years ago, I was taught a lesson by my dad and he's going to he's going to give give me crap for this forever because I probably never even said it to him. Remember when when I was in like first or second grade, we used, used to go to a, uh, uh, every, every year our school would go to a amusement park called Knott's Berry Farm. It's over in Orange County, California. Um, and first or second grade, uh, my dad's a chaperone and uh, we're, we're sitting outside this, this roller coaster called Jaguar. Um, Couple other kids in their group all wanted to ride the roller coaster. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to ride it because it looked scary. I was young. I was what six, seven years old, maybe maybe a little bit younger. Um, then uh, he he goes. Th- then we saw another group from our school walk out of uh, the roller coaster exit, and uh, there is this uh, little tiny, probably the 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 smallest. Well one of the youngest girls in the class below me get off. And my dad looks at me and goes, look, if she can do it, then you can do it too. And that, that kind of, that kind of, uh, woke me up a little bit because, you know, being, hey, being a guy, I'm not going to see a, a, somebody that's younger than me. And it's a girl go on and do something that, and that I'm afraid of it. No. And taught me in a, a lesson that I've taken forever that, if somebody else can do something, you can too. It's 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 not like you know, oh, uh, can you go run a marathon? I actually did twice this year just for the fun of it and just by accident. You know what? If if that if the person that maybe you can't be the the world record holder, but you can do it. You can finish. Maybe you don't. You know, maybe you're three hundred and fifteen pounds and five eight, and you don't lose a hundred pounds in six months. Maybe you do it in two years. Guess what? You did it. You're healthier. You know, maybe it takes you a little bit longer. Who cares? You know, compete with yourself. Compete with yourself. Compete with you know. Go go get what you want. And it, it, it's it's sad that that's the mindset of a lot of people. That's the mindset of a lot of people. Hey, I, I don't think I can do it, so they're not going to try. Or the people that oh, I'm going to give it a shot. You know, hey, Yoda was right. Do or do not. There is no try. Right. You, 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 if you're going to do something, commit to it and follow through with it. The only way, the only way, the absolute only way that you, uh, that you failed the carnivore diet or any, anything that you do, this applies to all areas of your life is that you quit is that you quit. And so many people will, will, will start, they feel bad for the first week and guess what? you know what, you, you push through or you quit. 
the first I, I've talked about this really heavily. The first two weeks of doing this was hell for me. Um, I was addicted to sugar. I ate Jose Olay taquitos probably four or five times a week because it was fast. It was easy. And I needed to get, you know, I need something quick and easy so I can run the farm. And I didn't realize that the, the more weight that I gained, the more tired that I, that I got. So it was the harder, the harder for, it was harder for me to run the farm and it was just a downward spiral. So it, it, it it's, it's sad that, you know, you got to see that you can push through. You have to be mentally tough up here because for the first two weeks, unless I saw the results, I probably would have quit too. I probably would have quit too. But you know what? I was watching a lot of people on, on the internet do it. And I said, Hey, if that person can do it, why can't I? The same thing. Um, if it worked for that person, why did it, why wouldn't it work for me? I, I, I say this all the, all the, all the time. I think I have one of those books right back here. Uh, you guys know Tony Robbins, big time motivational speaker, you know, find somebody, his, quote that I say over and over again, find somebody that has what you want, do the same thing and expect the same results. But you have to do the same thing. You have to be willing to make that commitment because it's just like, you know, either I don't know what it is with people. I might have had the right motivation at the right time, probably did. But motivation will only take you so far. You, you, you have to you have to get over. Oh, I'm the unmotivated stage because you can get motivated for 20 minutes. You can get motivated by watching a YouTube video. You have to hold that motivation for about 90 days. You have to you have to be doing this for a reason. Hey, I'm doing this doing this because I want I want to get healthy. I'm doing this because, hey, uh, you know, I saw comments. I'm doing this because I, I want to be around for my daughter's wedding and I'm and I'm, and I'm fat as can be. And. I don't think I'm going to be around another 15 years because I'm 400 pounds. You know, you have to do something that, that you, you have to get motivated. Um, but you have to, that motivation will only last you so long. That's that motivation that you have to turn into discipline. Cause once you get disciplined, this gets very, very, very easy because you're making a lifestyle change. You're changing your, your, in, you know, you're not changing your entire life, but as you get healthier, it makes you want to, it, it, it takes, you know, you stay motivated, you stay committed for 90 days, 90 days. It's a weird with anything. You, you do something every day for 90 days. It's a weird transition to where it becomes part of your life. And you don't, you almost don't remember when uh, you, you, you almost don't remember life before because it's just what you do. It's, you know, steak became what I ate. Well, I, I didn't have to think of, Oh, what am I going to have for breakfast this morning? I didn't eat breakfast. What am I going to have for lunch? Boom. Uh, it was a steak. What am I have, have for dinner? I'm not going to eat dinner because I ate my steak for lunch. That's the, that's the way that you, you, you have to approach these things and you, 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 you have to make it a, a, you have to make it part of you. You have to make it a lifestyle change because there's so many people that, Oh, I, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Why not? You, you're the only one that limits yourself. You're the only only person that limits yourself and it's why people get 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 you know people get fat it's why people get stuck at dead end jobs it's why people aren't where they want to be you know it, it it's so funny that you know I, I have a big time sales and marketing background and it, it it it's so funny because the way that you can close a sale if you want and the way that you're taught the way that it's done over the the phone uh, or over the TV it's like, hey, call now, and in the next, if you call now within the next ten minutes, you're gonna double your, we'll double your order and give you something for free, because what happens is they put you in a, a state to where you feel you fear like you're losing out on something, right? It and you make a you, you make it to where it's scarce or you're, you're gonna miss out, FOMO kind of thing, because the best motivating factor is fear of loss is more powerful than the potential for gain. So people won't do stuff for because the, they're, uh, they're, they're going to be able to gain something. They see the potential in something. They'll do it because they're going to lose out on something. But guess what? If you don't get healthy, if you don't, if you don't go after what you want, you're losing your time, your most valuable asset. And you, 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 especially if you're, if you're, if you're five, eight, 315 pounds, I don't mean to pick on the guy, but hopefully he he's watching this and I'm not going to call him out or anything, but hopefully, hopefully you're watching this and you, you, you can, 
you can see, hey, what am I missing out on? Probably years on your life, probably a lot of enjoyment, probably, a, you know, hey, hey, it's fun to be be uh, in shape. You know, I can go play basketball. And even though I'm not the best basketball player, I haven't played in probably before this, probably six, seven years because I just it just didn't. I can go hang because I can go run with the people, you know, and it's fun for me. And I, I played twice in the last couple of weeks and gotten a lot better the second time. It, you, you're missing out on a lot of joy. You're missing out on a lot of excitement. And, you know, just the way the world works, people that are in shape, people that, you know, look better, get more opportunities. I don't make the rules. That's not my role. That's not me saying that. That's the world saying that. All right. So you, you're, you're, you can't limit yourself. You can't, you know, you, you, you can't just tell yourself that you can't do something. You know, when I first started this, I, I, had, um, I have, I had an advantage. I had a big advantage. I live by myself. I live by myself away from the majority of my friends. Um, you know, my old friends, I live by myself away from my family and, uh, I disappeared for a long time. You know, I, I wasn't posting YouTube videos. I wasn't posting, you know, I wasn't, I, I just, I focused on me and, uh, that helped me big time. And if you can disappear for 90 days, shoot, you, 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 you focus on yourself. You focus on getting in shape. You focus on, on, you know, eating differently. That <sighs> It's a game changer. See, from my dad came out here in, uh, in, I started, I started eating like this December 2nd, 2022. My dad came out here for Christmas. He stayed through New Year's. I had a, um, a very good friend of mine come out here, uh, like right after that. I think stayed till like the 7th or something like that. Um, from January 7th to my birthday. Okay, so May 10th, May, May, when did I go back? Oh, May, I think it was like May 7th. So even that was like four months, um, four or five months. I didn't see anybody. I, my mom booked a ticket to where she was like, Hey, Ryan, I just booked a ticket to come out here and surprise you. I told her, don't come out. I told her not to come out right now. And she was like, Why? I said, Just, it's just not a good time. Then I didn't tell anybody what I was doing for a long time. I told my mom, Don't, don't come out here. Um, why? Because I was focusing on me. And I, uh, I knew that if I'm around my mom, guess what? I, I, I'm going to want, you know, some of her cooking. I want some of her, she, she, she designs, she can design really, really crazy cakes. And the, it's the flavor is amazing. It's like, that's not what I needed right now. I just need to basically go in a hole, figure things out for myself, get, get, uh, you know, kind of embrace this, you know, okay. I, I do things to where. I want to see my family. I want to see my friends all the time, blah, blah, blah. Um, everybody does. But I had to get into a mindset to where I didn't deserve that until I got where I wanted to be. You know, the first two months, I uh, I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat one time. I was as strict as can be. You know, when when I, uh, when I, my goal weight, I wasn't losing, I wasn't, my goal wasn't to lose 100 pounds. I was, I was thinking I'd end up like 235-ish. So I need to lose like 50. Um, you know, I set small goals for myself. I said, I'm not quitting or I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating one bit until I get under 250, under 250. Because if I think, you know, it, over 250, that's when you're just like, okay, you, you're, you're, you're ridiculously big. I was 286.6, way over that mark. And I said, no, that that's unacceptable for me. So I didn't steak every single day ground or ground beef or whatever something carnivore okay didn't veer off one bit and look what happened in two months 247 246 that's when i started having a cheat day a week that way because i felt at that point that i deserved it and i didn't realize how much more i had to go i thought i got 250 okay then i have to lose 15 more pounds well, then, you know, kept at it, kept at it, kept at it. Uh, another two months go by, it was right around 230, 235. Still wasn't happy with myself. I said, wow, okay, what what do I actually need to get to? Then I didn't just set it. I didn't set a goal. I said, you know, after after that amount of time, it was, all, it was well over 90 days. It became part of who I am. I said, I'm just going to keep doing this. And whatever I end up at, I end up at. Now, I almost feel like I'm a little bit too small, trying to, I'm trying to, trying to bulk up more. 
but you, you have to, you know, you have to not the way you fail with this is that if you quit, I mean, it, it's that simple formula of, you know, calories in calories out thing to where, Hey, are you consuming more calories than you're burning? Hey, the, you know, some people say, Oh, eat whatever you want in the carnivore diet. It, it, maybe do that for the first little bit. I probably don't recommend that because that formula still holds true and it's going to take you a lot longer. It's going to take you a lot longer and you're going to develop an eating habit that probably, um, probably, probably not the best. You know, I, I, if I had to start this over again, if I had to start this way over again, um, what would I do? What would I do differently? I think I've, I've talked about this before. I'd start with at least a three day fast, at least a three day fast. So you don't go through the, the, the sugar withdrawals or whatever. I, I would start with a three day fast. And I would just focus on, uh, on, on me, actually not here, up here, thinking, I don't need the food right now. My body has more than enough stores probably to get me through winter, you know, like a bear. Maybe I just need to hibernate and just, you know, go, go into a, a fasting mode. You go into a fasting mode, it, it resets yourself to where I've had, you know, when I went back for my birthday, I had cake, I had ice cream, I did all the bad things. Why? Because of my birthday, I can go, I can do that. And I was down enough to where I wasn't going to make myself completely unhealthy by cheating for a couple days. But when I get back, when I got back, I went, I, uh, what did I do? I, uh, I did a three day fast because it reset myself. It resets, my, it reset myself to where I'm going back only eating steak. Now I've incorporated a couple more things, um, back into my, my diet comes out to be what a little bit of fruit bananas um orange you know little tangerine or nectarine oranges things or what are they called the i call them cuties um some pineapple and apples that's about that's what i'll eat why because it's what i like now will i uh am i okay i'll tell you this am i a big believer in the whole um plants are bad for you side of this i don't know I, th I think kale is because it's awful. I think uh, kale is one of those things that, yeah, it's 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 pretty bad. Um, it tastes like garbage. Nobody I know actually likes eating it. It's just, I think that's bad for you. But do I think a carrot, if I had a carrot, do that, if, if I had a Brussels sprout, do I think that would be bad for me? Probably not. I mean... Uh, I think doing things carnivore is just the very extreme way of doing it. And it, I think it gets you into a state to where, you know, it, it's real easy to add sauces and stuff to vegetables to try and make them taste good. Think about it. Okay. Oh, I'm going to have a salad. And, you know, most salads are probably unhealthy. Why? Because, um, what, what do you have to do to a salad to make it taste good? Nobody eats a, a salad dry. What is it? Caesar salad dressing ranch thousand island you have to do you have to put something on lettuce to make it taste good at least in my opinion i mean you know, i mean are you just gonna go eat spinach out of the bag probably not you have to do something to make it make it taste good and, and that's you know your you, your your thousand island dressing your your ranch that's the stuff that makes it really bad for you and that's the stuff that you can you know you can kind of justify to yourself oh i'm eating the salad so i can put a little more dressing on don't be doing that. You know, I, 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 during this time, I've read a lot of different books. I've looked up a lot of different things. Um, here, I'll show, I'll show you one of them. If I can grab it correctly Four hour body, uh, Tim Ferriss, you know, anything, I, I kind of read anything by that guy. I listen to his podcast quite often. Um, look, number one rule, avoid white carbohydrates. Rule number two, eat the same few meals over and over again. What does he say? Uh, pro proteins, egg whites, chicken breast, uh, beef, pork, fish, uh, legumes, lentils, bean. No, I won't eat beans. 